So this is how to diagnose students' uh, learning needs. Okay. And yes, okay. Actually, when we supervise our students, okay, it depends on how we view the PhD. Is the PhD is merely the thesis or the PhD is a program? Okay. Uh, at my uh, faculty and also my research unit, I prefer my colleagues, okay, who are supervising together with me. Uh, I would like them to look at the PhD as a program, okay? So that means it's not just the, the TC. So that means the students have uh, things or activities uh, beyond their thesis, okay? So it is not uh, really uh, only get the PhD and then suddenly uh, they got stuck, okay? Uh, coming, you know, uh, I mean, departing uh, from their uh, PhD. So the key principles, okay, is set expectations, but be aware of the changing reality. So we cannot have the same expectations as we have on another student, okay? We cannot also have expectations that were set on us by our supervisor, okay? Maybe that will be 20 years ago, okay? And then we need to also listen, reflect, and share. And we need to think outside of the box, okay? Outside the box, meaning that outside of the thesis, okay? So this happens if we view the PhD as a program, okay? But if we view it as a thesis, then it is only these two. But it's best to have the third one uh, where we uh, expose the students to the circles of appropriate, to the appropriate circles of scholars as well as also to um, uh, experts in the field, okay, so that later on, uh, after they have completed their PhD, they can go for postdoctorate, and also to, give, to keep their, them being motivated, okay, because uh, they know that, you know, after this, they have these scholars, and they would like also to connect uh, to these scholars. So at our lab, we have done the third one, and Alhamdulillah, our, our students are still uh, continuing, okay, works on their topic and even they are, ha they are, have been recognized as expert even though they just got their PhD a few months uh, ago.